What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today I'm going to show you how to tell your AI to go into a specific point that you're pointing at. It's going to be a very easy bit to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and right click and create a blueprint class. I'm going to create the AI itself. So I'll go into the character, BP underscore, I don't know, uh, target AI for example, it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's go ahead and open this up. So first of all, we have to add some mesh into it. So in my case, I'm gonna put just for example, money, and then we go, money simple. Let's put it into position. So minus 89 over here, and then minus 90. So it will be facing the correct way. And then we can just go into here and search the money AV beat so it will have some animations. So great. So with that, we can just go into the game graph and delete all of this. And we'll go ahead and just create a new custom event, which will basically be just go to target and basically this will contain an input that will pass through our player which will be the target uh, location so basically where the uh, ai will need to go and here we're gonna put it as a vector because basically it's a, a position in the world all right so with that we can use oh use this node which is the ai move to this one over here and with that we can just pass the destination to be here and then the pawn will be itself because i mean that's the ai that is moving and then target actor we're gonna leave it empty and then the set from values we can just put uh, yeah, leave it at five it will be okay and then as success we can just do nothing because it will just wait there until we tell him to move into another point so that would be uh, perfect okay so with that now of course we have to go ahead and make the basically the logic of the pointing and selecting the area that we want to go. But before, let me quickly just go ahead and drag the AI into the scene. And let me just rotate it so it's looking at us nice and clean, okay? And now the thing is that we have to add something in the scene so our AI will be able to move. So if we just uh, go up here into quickly add to the product, we can go into the volumes section and add a nav mesh balance volume. And we can just go ahead and just make this big. So just go into the scale, lock it, and just put like 50, something like that, real big. And then if we press P, and uh, you will see that we have generated the the zones that our AI will be able to navigate through. I already had that <laughs> not much bounce volume, but you know doesn't matter. Um, okay, I don't have any more. Okay, from under the tutorial, but yeah, you have to do that. And there we go. So with that said, now we have to go into our third-person character in order to add this functionality of pointing into a place. So let's go into the third-person character blueprint, third-person character blueprint, and then let's go into the graph into a nice place. And I gotta do it when we press the N key, for example. So let's go up here, uh, find it. There we go. And then we're going to do is do a line trace by channel. A line trace will be basically like an invisible ray that will go from one point to another one. In this case, from our player's camera into the floor that we're pointing at. Uh, so let's go and get the full camera and let's get the wild location. And let's go ahead and put this over here. So this will be the starting point, but the end point will be both. We need to get the um, rotation, the wild rotation, and then we need to get the forward vector basically where the camera right now is looking at and then when we have that we can go ahead and multiply this by value this will be the distance that we want to be able to um shoot the ray so just right click over here and convert this into a float so it's a nice number and we can just put this as i don't know very large number but basically the distance that you will, will be able to uh point and make the ai go to in my case i'm gonna make it real big it doesn't matter now let's get the uh, world location and add this with the other um, forward vector and we can just plug that into the end position. So now if I go here and set this into the debug type for forward duration, we can preview it. And if I uh, just quickly press play and can press N and you can see we're doing, if it doesn't crash, <laughs> there we go, a point and basically saying, hey, go here, go here, go here, go here. And of course it makes sense that you pick a point in the ground because if you pick in the well, the AI will not able to get here, but you get the idea that's just on the player behavior, right? But this is working. So let's go back here. And uh, what we're going to do is make sure that we have hit something. So if the trend value is true, we can go ahead and get the out hit and then break it. Basically, this will contain all the parameters uh, and information of what we have hit, the location and stuff. And what we want is to get the location. So in the true, we're going to get the get actor of class. Okay. And basically we want to find our BP target uh, that we have in the scene. And from there we can call the 
um, what was it? Move target or how was it? Uh, go to target. Okay, so we can just call the function that we created, well, the custom event, and then just plug in the location into here. Now with that, the AI should go ahead and move. So we go ahead and press play. You can see the AI is not moving, but if I press N and look there, uh, nothing will happen. <laughs> and it's because it basically unloaded the nav mesh uh, bounce volume. You can see if we don't have nav mesh, the AI will not be able to move. And to resolve this, just go and open again your map, which is the third person map in my case. And now we will be back if I press P, it should appear. This is just uh, things of the world partition. Don't explain me why. Sometimes it just unloads things, so if it doesn't move for you, make sure that you restart the scene and your nav mesh bones volume is there. Okay, now yes, if I press N, look at point, there we go, it will go ahead and move into a point. Great, of course, it is very snappy and there's no animations playing on it other than the idle. So let's go ahead and fix those two things. So quickly, let's go into the target AI, go into the um, class defaults and search for jaw. Let's disable this. So basically, that was like a making the rotation very snappy. But now if we go and select the character move component, go down, we can go into the use controller, uh, sorry, orient rotation to movement. And it will basically orient to the movement uh, very smoothly. That's what we want, basically. And now we want to quickly go ahead and create an uh, blend space 1D. Okay, and this will be basically the SK mannequin. Okay, so go in here. This will be the target AI. Let's open this up. Okay, and then we can just put the speed here. Okay, so the horizontal axis and the max to be, uh, I don't know, 600 or whatever the AI had. Actually, let's make it a bit uh, kind of slower so we can select the character move component, go into max walk speed and set it to 350, for example. And then we can go here and put it in 350. And now in here, we can just get the idle animation. In this case, it will be the MM because it was Manny, I believe, that I put it. And then also the basically walk animation and basically walk forward and put it into the end. So now, if I hold control, you can see as the speed increases, it will be transitioning between the uh, animations. Uh, so, with that said, we can now close this and quickly just right click animation blueprint and create a uh, one for the SK mannequin again. ABP underscore uh, target. AI, let's open this up, and we are nearly finished. Just get the uh, the one that we created for is the AI. So target AI blend space, plug this into the output post, and just right click into the speed, and then uh, and promote to variable. So now in the bank graph, we can just get from the owner the current velocity that it has, and we can just use this node, which is the vector length. And if I know how to type. <laughs> length uh, which will just convert this vector into a nice float so we can just pass it into our speed like so like this like this compile save and now of course remember to go into the ai and actually go into the mesh and put in the one that we have just created because not it will not do anything and it was and um, what was target ai yes and with that said everything should be nice so if i press play and if I say to go into this point, it will turn uh, nicely and go with walking animations really cool into that point. And of course, we can make it even smoother if we go into the plant space and first of all, go into weight and put like, for example, 10 of weight. And then uh, you can see that's a bit better. But then in the smoothing time, put like 2.2. And so now, yes, that should be much smoother. You can see, yeah, that's much better. As you can see, now our AI will go into the point that we go ahead and say. And honestly, come on, it looks really cool. Come on, that, this is already looking really cool, as you can see. And what we're gonna do is quickly go and just play a little sound. So, in AI, we can just go right after that and say play sound and add location. This is okay, <laughs> whatever, and plug in the location. Now we'll play a sound there. Um, and then also, uh, we can do is put like a quick particle there, a sponge there, right? So we can just go, and I think that if I have started content, we have some particles here. Let me just check. So, yeah, we have, for example, sparks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that might not exactly work. Let's create our quickly our Niagara system. Just right click Niagara system, 
a new system your next of course you can skip this part but let's go into the uh let's say fountain no fountain will be always working uh directional bars yeah just uh, click the plus icon finish and then uh yeah we can just leave the name like this it doesn't really matter and we can really just go into the close this and just uh, go into the close this go into the ai and do a spawn a system at location and again we can just pass in the one that we have just created and then the location there and the rotation and stuff we can just do it like this so now it should work but of course i mean we did not do any change into the particles but you get the idea now it's parking as you can see the thing is that we have our character in the center so if i work quickly this is just an extra thing i have to do to be able to showcase better the the thing but i'm gonna quickly just add an offset in the camera boom you don't have to do this it's just to me to showcase better in the um socket offset i believe it is it's in here put it to 50 or something like that so we more to the side and now i can go and there you go you can see now this already looks pretty cool and of course i can get rid of the line traces um, by just going here and getting the photo duration off but I can just go ahead and put for duration to be just like 0.7 seconds so it's really quick to get a feedback so that's it guys if you found this helpful I would really be sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 throws so go ahead and check them out now yes what I said bye bye